Just a cutscene. Just a cutscene. Don't panic. Oh, I hate it when the camera flashes away. It usually means something really big and awful is going to try and murder me. Yes, I know it. Good morning, everyone. Dave from the Wee Hours back with some more XCOM 2 where we are infiltrating an Advent Black site. And we are in concealment and we have no turn counter and we have a very solid team today. We've definitely got some A-team folks in here. So, so far, so good, but we're just starting. So I'm going to get everyone moving up a little bit slowly. We have no time limit here. No pressing need to be rushing forward. We're just going to get everyone kind of moving forward a little bit. There's not a heck of a lot of cover. This is the problem. Well, not at this opening area. We don't know what might be up in the fog of war, but nothing around here that's going to provide us with any good cover as we move towards the black site. But we'll see what we can do. Let's get some folks moving along and see if anything pops up and tries to murder us. Nothing popped up, so I'm just going to put everybody on Overwatch in case something wants to march down and, you know, start shooting us or taking over our mind or spraying acid at us. Things aliens do in general. Nothing coming forward? Okay. Mildly concerning. All right, Cecile, why don't you start making a little bit of a push up here? Now, just remind me, the black site is sort of... Wow, the black site is really, really far away. Very, very far away. Okay, we've got a bit of a long walk ahead of us. Vasquez, why don't you run and gun, just to get you moving a little bit farther up here. So you can dash up here and just sort of scout it out. No? All right. Let's get everyone moving up, but not any farther than Vasquez just went. Everybody stay behind Vasquez. Okay, we've got an audio clue from over there, so something's in that direction, and it sounds big and metal and heavy. That sounds like some sectopod right there. It's what I feel we're... Oh, I just misclicked Cecile and dashed her. Darn it. Darn it. All right, well, we'll learn to cope with that. That's fine. We'll learn to cope with that. Vasquez, why don't you come up and support Cecile? just in case something starts marching down there. And again, I'm just going to overwatch people. If there's a mech up here, I want to get the first shot on it before it pops up and, well, you know, completely one-shot somebody. Kostya, so glad to have you back on duty. Why don't you march up and hang out with Vasquez? That seems very sensible for you. And Catherine, 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 why don't you come over here? I just, the problem is I don't know which direction it's going to come from, so I don't know what cover is going to be effective and what won't. Johnny, Johnny, Johnny Walker, I am thrilled to have you back on duty, my ace sharpshooter. Go ahead and just pistol overwatch that for me, please. All right, yes, yeah, still an audio clue over here. It, it's got to be, oh, I can hear the stomping. I can hear the metal stomping. That is just the worst sound in the world. All right, Cecile, let's not misclick you for a start. Let's get you moving up here. Anything you can see? Really? Nothing yet. All right, we're getting a little bit closer to the black site, but all right. Um, you know what, Cecile? Just hang out there for a sec. Let's get Vasquez to do what she does best, which is charge forward like a lunatic into danger. Uh, nothing for you to see. All right, so far so good. Ooh, Catherine, where are we going to stick you? Why don't you come over by this tree? That's decent cover. And then Kostya, why don't you come over where Vasquez was and hang out there? Yeah, let's just do another Overwatch round for people. Still no sign of anyone, but boy, that's stomping. It's got to be right here somewhere. Cecile, could you please get an eyeball on anything at all? There we go. Yep, it's the sectopod. It's the sectopod. This is not good. We don't like those because they're all ouchy and terrible. Okay, what am I going to do with this information? Well, first of all, Cecile, you're going to do nothing at all right now. Vasquez, why don't you come up here... What I'm thinking is I'd like to get a shot on it to bring it down here so that Kostya and Rohit can take advantage of Salvo. If we don't move them, 
then they can effectively get two shots off on this thing if we can get it to come in range. Now, Catherine, what are we going to do with you? This cactus is surprisingly good cover, so why don't you come up here, and all of you three up front already have an eye on this thing. Now, how are we going to start this party? I'm going to have Cecile open fire because she doesn't really have anything else to do at this point. I don't think she's going to get Haywire Protocol on this guy. He's just too high level at this point to try and hack him. And I doubt we're going to be able to shut him down. But just for fun, just for fun, Cecile, go see what your numbers are like. I have no doubt there's no chance you're going to be able to shut this thing down. But just in case you can... Let's just check our numbers on it and see what we can do. Yeah, that's only a 50-50. 49% chance to shut it down. And if we fail, it's going to increase the target's aim and defense. I, I'm not gambling on a 50-50. If those were maybe in the 70s, like we would have got with a mech, I would have taken the chance. But not with that. So, Cecile, time to get the party started. At least it's big and huge and you've got a great shot at it, so... Let's go blow up a sectopod. Oh, I hate the sectopods. That's a very solid shot, Cecile. Well done. That will obviously break our concealment. And my hope is that he'll start marching down here and put himself in range of Kostya and Rohit. That would be the ideal. Yet he's just going to destroy everything in his path as he comes down. All right, Johnny, we'll come back to you. Now, Kostya, you definitely have a shot. Are you, however, in range with a grenade? Uh, you are, actually. Fantastic. Okay, start with that, because then we can take advantage of Salvo. So just go ahead and blow it up, and then do something else. That's the great advantage of Salvo. All right, terrible damage, but we shredded it a little bit, so that's good. All right, Kostya, come back to me. Yep, Salvo kicks in. You have a 75% shot on it, and I don't want to waste all your grenades right now. We've got a long way to go here. So just take a regular shot, please. Okay, good solid shot. Good damage and some more shredding. Now, Rohit, I need you to do basically exactly the same thing, but I think you might be just out of range. Ah, I bet you're not out of range for a rocket, though. Rockets have a little better distance there. Yeah. Um, how is your shot on the grenade? Can you? Yeah, you're out of range for a grenade, but not for a rocket. So sure, rocket this guy up. This guy needs to go away like super, super quickly. Awesome damage, Rohit. Excellent. Well done. And can you now get in with a shot because you have salvo? Oh, you're a little bit, little bit out of range. Darn it. Okay, well, let's at least get you moving up so you will be in range next time. All right, that was still solid, Rohit. Well done. Uh, Johnny, how many things can you do to this? Oh, you also have the Mimic Beacon, though. We should probably save you for last. In case we can't take this thing down, we're going to need that Mimic Beacon. Now, Vasquez, you have rapid fire, and you have an awesome shot on this thing, so the aim penalty, we probably won't even feel that at minus 15. Go ahead and rapid fire this thing. Get off two shots on this. If we're very, very lucky, that might be enough to do the job. Come on, one more, Vasquez. Be the superstar I know you are. Yeah, there we go. There we go. All right, Sectopod goes to bed. Exactly what I wanted to have happen. And Catherine, you can just keep moving up. Thank you. And now, Johnny, you're kind of getting a little bit out of the action. Why don't we move you, well, as way up far as we can get anyway. So dash up here and just hang out there. All right, good. Sectopod goes to bed. That's exactly what I want. As far as I'm concerned, that was the most threatening thing on this map right now. Cecile, that car's already blown up, so it should be no problem for you to just come and hang out up here. Anything you need to be seeing up here? No. Now, this bridge, boy, that's a tight little choke point to get in here. Hmm, that's going to be a problem. Was that a thing over there? Oh, yeah, okay, we've got an eye on an advent soldier over there. All right, that's fine. That's just a regular -y old Advent soldier. This is going to be another Overwatch round. Let me just set some people up and get into the position that I want to be in. 
Okay, we found an Advent Captain and what looks like a Stun Lancer. All right, they were on the other side of the building. I didn't anticipate them being there. That's a bit unfortunate. I think I've got, yeah, one or two Overwatches that are kicking around. Oh, more than I thought. Good, excellent. Unfortunate miss there from Cecile, but that Stun Lancer is not looking too healthy. These guys weren't where I expected them to be. I was concentrating mostly on the guy up here and getting over the bridge, and I didn't really pay too much attention to this building. But I think we're going to be able to cope with this okay. Let's just uh, spin that around. All right, there's that guy. I think we're going to be fine at this point. Kostya, what's your eye on this guy? Not as much as I would like. That is not the best shot. Can you... Can you get right up in his face and just shoot him right in his alien face with your alien face shooting gun? Is that a thing you could be doing? Let's find out. Kostya, move over here. All right, your shot on him is a lot better now, and your shot on the Advent Captain is terrible. That's fine. Yeah, just go ahead and take a regular shot, please. If you hit, we'll be in good shape. Uh, that's not hitting, Kostya. That's not hitting. That's different. That's the one where you miss. That's that's not the same thing as hitting. All right. Um, Cecile. Yeah, why don't you come over here? That's still going to leave me plenty of people. And now you've got a nice flanking shot on this guy. All right, see if you can make up from your miss before. Oh, you, you grazed him, but he's just not going down. He's just not going down. All right, Johnny. You actually have no eye on anything. That's unfortunate. I kind of wish you did have an eye on something. All right, well, your lightning hands will be up. So here's my plan. Why don't you come over here and lightning hands that guy. Yep, lightning hands the stun lancer. Good. All right, that takes him down, and that still leaves us a shot on the other one, the captain. Not a very good shot, mind you. But a shot nonetheless. I could do fanfire. That'll give me three shots on him. Now, how many people do I have left over here to deal with this guy? I've got three other people over here to deal with this guy. Let's save fanfire, because that's got a really long cooldown, as I recall. So, yeah, let's just take a regular shot on this guy. Just, just see if you can take a chunk out of him, at least. No, you missed him completely. Okay, that's fine. That's fine. We're going to cope with this information. It's okay, Johnny. It's okay. All right, Rohit, get right up in this guy's face, please. Or at least as far as you can get. And shoot. Oh, wow, your shot is terrible. Your shot is super terrible, Rohit. Why is your shot so terrible? That's awful. Um, Could grenade him. I mean, you got three grenades kicking around. May as well take the guaranteed damage. Because I think if we can get the grenade on him, which obviously we can, then Vasquez can kind of seal the deal. Yeah, you're, you're all sorts of in bad shape now. All your cover is gone. You're in poor shape. Uh, Catherine, it wouldn't kill you to get a kill. Uh, you got a decent shot on him. You're not going to get the kill, but what, what are you doing there? Uh, Serial. Remind me what Serial is? Oh, chain shot. With every kill, your actions will be refunded. I don't think we really need to do that with this guy. Do we want to get you a little bit closer? Let's just get you a tiny little bit closer if we can. Maybe that'll bump up your numbers just a teensy bit. Uh, yeah, by a whole two points. But sure, take this guy. You're probably not going to kill him unless you get a crit. And you didn't. All right, Vasquez, once again. Once again, Vasquez, it's up to you to seal the deal here. Uh, you've got a great shot on him, but let's not mess around. Let's just take the 100% slash on this guy. Go ahead and slice him in two with a plasma sword. Thank you. Oh, my all-star, Vasquez. Oh, and some loot. And well, well placed for Vasquez to grab that. What do we got? Superior repeater and an advanced expanded magazine. Well, dandy. Pop those in your pocket, Vasquez. Let's go to the black site. It's unlikely, I think, that anything else is going to pop out on that side, although it's not out of the question. There's still quite a bit over in the fog of war there, so I'm going to keep pressing towards the black site itself and kind of ignore that side of the map. Hopefully nothing will, you know, walk over and shoot us in the face. 
Kostya, why don't you... Sorry, Johnny. You're going to be broadly useless for this round, so why don't you just actually dash up here, and that'll put you in a pretty good spot to snipe anyone off who might be on the other side of the bridge. Rohit, you can actually join Johnny over here, and this will probably be another full overwatch round for folks. Kostya, you also really kind of need to do a dash because you're getting out of the party over here. So come over here and hang out by the car. And Catherine, 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 boy, the cover is pretty weak around here. Pretty weak. All right, why don't you also come up here and overwatch. I don't really like to bunch everyone up like this just in case somebody's got grenades, but needs must, as they say. Uh, your run and gun is still on cooldown, Vasquez, so, oh, I don't know, dash up here. It's not the world's greatest spot, but... That's where you're going to live, so hang out over there. And what's their move? I'm hearing more metal stomping, which is not good. I, I don't like metal stomping. Um, Vasquez, why don't you lead the charge and head up here before anyone else gets there? Okay, eyes on those guys. Excellent. If they wanted to see me and come down here, I would actually be okay with that. Because Rohit and Kostya, if they wanted to all bunch up nice and tight, which they are kind of doing. Oh, Rohit, Kostya, I've got a job for you guys. Oh, boy, do I have a job for you guys. Yeah. Yeah, it's time for the Boom Brothers to go to work here. We won't be able to take advantage of Salvo, but we'll, we'll manage. We'll totally manage. Yeah, go ahead and start with a grenade over here. Because I see, do I see a shield bearer in there? No, I don't think so. Just regular adventy guys in the mech. Yeah, that had to hurt. I think Kostya can largely finish this off here. Oh, except for the codex that's over there. Oh, not as much fun as I would like. Although that other advent soldier was kind enough to bunch up sort of with the other guys. Oh, and I got a real lack of cover here, too. Real lack of cover. And Kostya, um, who's got a Mimic Beacon? Johnny? Okay, Johnny, hold that thought. Hold that thought. Kostya also has a Mimic Beacon, but I need Kostya to be blowing everything up that lives on the other side of the bridge. Although, your range is going to be a little off. I don't even know if you got this. You'll be able to get the mech and that advent trooper and that will put that advent trooper away so it's worth it i think guaranteed damage will save johnny for last all right one of those guys goes down good now what i really need to do is thin their numbers that would be my ideal right now so that when the mimic beacon goes it won't get taken out immediately all right cecile do you have a shot on anything you have a shot on nothing at all all right, well, why don't you see if we've got a codex. He's going to do his cloud thing, so I don't want to bunch everyone up. Head over here, actually. You can kind of do some flanking kind of shots over there. And Catherine, who do you think you have a flanking shot on? The advent guy over there? Okay, that's good. Is there anything else you could be doing? Just give me an idea of what your range is on a grenade. Not that far. So if I put you, actually, if I put you up on that wall, you might be able to get a grenade off. Yeah, go ahead and head over there. See if you can get, oh, you got shots on everyone now. Yeah, see if you can get a grenade uh, to kind of get, oh, doesn't quite get both of them. That is a little unfortunate. That's a little unfortunate. Who do you think you have flanking shots on? That guy would be great, actually, if you took him out. That would be pretty super. Go ahead and do that. Please make that shot. I just want to thin numbers at this point. Nice critical. Didn't need it, but you got it. Good job. Now, Vasquez, have you actually done anything yet? Hang on, hang on. Bring me back to Vasquez. You should still have a shot, and you have rapid fire up. Hmm. You could rapid fire that guy, and I like the sound of that. Rapid fire him see if you can take him out please oh unfortunate miss oh vasquez i really needed you to make that shot 
Oh, two misses on rapid fire. Thank you, random number gods. All right, Johnny, pop that Mimic Beacon down. Let's go. Get that Mimic Beacon down. Yep, let's get that. Let's get them all nice and cuddled up on the other side of the bridge there. I don't think the Mimic Beacon is going to last through all three of these guys. I think they're going to take it out, which means the Codex will probably get his... Oh, thankfully, he's doing his thing first. Good. Good. Yeah, shoot whatever you want if it's a hologram. You didn't even get that good a shot, and you put yourself right in the line of my fire. This guy's going to do a thing. Everybody's focused on the Mimic Beacon. Oh, thankfully, they didn't take it down. Thinning the numbers was a good idea. Get, wh where are you going? Why, why are you going out of my line of vision? Why would you do that? Okay, so the hologram's down. That's fine. That's totally, totally fine. I have no problem with that. Um, wow, Cecile, you still have no shot. Oh, that's a little frustrating, Cecile. Okay, I need people to move up, first of all. Now, Boom Brothers. Actually, Kostya, you haven't really contributed much to this party yet. Give me Kostya. Kostya, thank you. Why don't you come up here? Just get right in front of them. I'd really like to be able to see the mech again. Oh, oh, okay. Just a cutscene, just a cutscene. Don't panic. Oh, I hate it when the camera flashes away. It usually means something really big and awful is going to try and murder me. Yes, I know what an Advent Black site looks like, camera angles. Come back to me, come back to me. Now, did you get... You didn't even get the eyeball back on the mech. That's frustrating. Well, you know what? Just blow everything up then. That's fine. Blow all of these things up. All the things that live over there need to get all exploded. Thank you, Kostya. Oh, except probably not the car that Vasquez was standing next to. Yeah, I probably shouldn't have done that bit. Okay, you've cloned. Do you have a shot on that now, actually? Do you have a shot on the clone? You do. All right, I'm going to hold off on you. Cecile, until I figure out what else I need to do. Oh, Vasquez, you're out of ammo. Darn it. That's frustrating. Um, I do have... The gas grenade is, I'm going to guess, not effective against the Codex. That would be my, my guess. So you can slash whom? The Codex or the Advent or the Mech. That will likely take the Mech out. Yeah, I feel that's got to be the best move where you have no ammo on you right now. Because that guy's got rockets. And rockets are bad. We don't like rockets. Alright, so Vasquez is completely exposed now. But that's basically okay. That's going to be okay. We're going to learn to cope with this. Because Rohit, Rohit um, you're going to use another grenade to finish these two guys off. So just make sure they're in the range. Yes, they are. And then we can just focus on the Codex clone on the other side. Okay. Those two guys are down. Perfect. They have been destroyed. I know they've been destroyed. Thank you, Rohit. Good job. Yep, you've got Salvo. Actually, sure, you know what? Take the shot. You may as well take the shot rather than not take the shot. You might get lucky. Yeah, you got real lucky. Perfect. Nice job, Rohit. Well done. Okay, now we actually just kind of need to put a quick heal on Vasquez. Yeah, go ahead and gremlin heal Vasquez. Just top her off a little bit. That should bring her up to full health. Yep, thank you. Appreciate that. And then you, um, why don't you sort of move up here? Excellent. And Johnny, you can actually kind of stay where you are. Well, come up here. I don't want you getting too far behind the line of action. And you can actually just pistol overwatch for me. And Cecile, you can also start moving up here. Good. All right. I don't like this choke point to the bridge at all. All right, everyone's all set here. I'm going to do a quick reload and overwatch round to make sure everybody's topped off on ammo here.
All right, everyone's topped off on ammo. Everyone's moving over the bridge at this point. I'm going to have Cecile lead the way with a dash just to see if there's anything over here, which it doesn't seem like there is. The door is right there, so we're making some good progress, and nothing else has popped up and tried to murder us in the meantime. So this will broadly be another overwatch dashing round just to get us moving in a positive direction over here so Ruhit slide in over there thank you cost you you're kind of in the middle of nowhere why don't you why don't you really lead the charge by marching right up here nothing to see at the front door I think we have basically dealt with the people who are at the front door so I think I think we're gonna be pretty good to just make a move right for the entrance without any interference Vasquez you're really getting out of the line of line of the party here you really need to be dashing forward okay let's get up to the door I think we're going to be okay there's an audio clue inside the building not super surprised by that but let's get everyone up to the door and figure out what's going on inside Okay, Catherine triggered a bunch of people inside, so we've got a sectoid, there's another sectoid up in the fog of war there, and there's an Archon somewhere down in here. So I've got Catherine just sort of tucked away here, and I've started doing some overwatching. My goal is to lead them out to us, and hopefully... We'll just overwatch a bunch of them to death, particularly the Archon. He would be the guy that I consider to be the most threatening on this map right now. Uh, Rohit, you're in a pretty positive position there, so you can also overwatch. Kostya, I'm going to have you move just to one side here. Let's just get you a little bit closer, a little bit closer, and you can also overwatch. Uh, same with you, Vasquez. We're just going to try to get them to come out the door and get shot in the face like it's going to happen right now. There's an Archon. Kostya gets a shot in. I'm glad I moved you to that spot. And Vasquez, yes, Vasquez is in with a shot. Another three. A gray shot, but still three damage. Rohit's in there. A miss, but still one damage because I've got the mod on your weapon. Okay. That was a decent overwatch, and more to kick off. Yep, Cecile's in now that he's popped out the door. I think we kind of got this number. That should be Johnny with an overwatch. Oh, solid shot from Johnny. Well done. Well done. Yeah, we're just going to overwatch the heck out of this guy. Yeah, you can battle frenzy all you want. You got three hit points left. Unfortunately, that chewed up all my overwatches. So, what is your move going to be? You gonna try the mind control thing? Mind spin resisted. Yeah, you don't try that on Vasquez. Vasquez has got you all day, buddy. And what's your move? You're oh, you're just gonna flat out shoot something. All right, that's unexpected from a sectoid, but okay, sure, sure. Um, you know what? We have we have this gas grenade that we haven't done anything with. Here's what I need you to do. Um, oh, no, no, I misclicked you. I misclicked you. I didn't mean to do that. All right, uh, just get me off of Vasquez. Hang on, off of Vasquez. Uh, give me one of the Boom Brothers. There we go. Cost you. Oh, you're actually out of grenades. That's unfortunate. Well, where's Rohit then? Rohit can probably deal with this. You're also out of grenades. Huh. Did I really? I don't feel like I used up all of your grenades. I'm a little bit confused at the moment, but that's okay. That's fine. Um, Johnny, Johnny, Johnny. Why don't you... You only have a shot on the Archon. That's a little fidgety. Well, let's sacrifice your sniper rifle, and you can just come over here. And now you've got a shot on two things. Yeah, why don't you lightning hands the Archon to begin? Oh, unfortunately did not kill him. Unfortunate miss there. And why don't you fanfire something else? Yeah, the sectoid. Sensible. Do that. Shoot him three times, please. That really ruined his day. Super ruined his day. Thank you. Why are you guys out of grenades? I really don't feel like I've used all your grenades. That doesn't seem right at all. Hmm... A little confused by that. However, Cecile, why don't you just march straight up here and shoot the Archon in the face with your alien face shooting gun. Although you have a 
decent shot on the sectoid. Not a great shot, though. Yeah, just deal with this guy. He's the most threatening thing I see right now. All right, he's done. And that just leaves the sectoid inside. Vasquez, there's no chance you can... You could maybe run in there and slash him, is there? You might be in range of that. Kostya, why don't you just come up to here? Do you have a shot? Probably not. No, didn't think so. That's fine. Just, uh... Actually, hang on. Go back. You kind of need to reload, actually. Rohit. Yeah, reload. And then Vasquez. What could you be doing with your time? Kostya... Actually, Kostya can get up there. Why don't you just go see if you can get it? Oh! Okay, just a cutscene. Don't panic. Don't panic. Um... However, those are more Advent soldiers releasing from tanks. I... I don't... I don't like the idea of that. Does that mean you just put more enemies on the map? Okay, there's the thing we need to get. That's... that's fine. Did you just put more soldiers on the map? Because I see more people in those tanks. Are they going to pop up and murder me? I kind of need to know this information, XCOM 2. All right, well, let's just try and cope here. Take the 50-50 take the on the sectoid. Nice shot. Did that not kill him? Are you clinging on with one hit point? Yeah, you're totally clinging on with one hit point. You jerk. You absolute jerk. I'm not going to send Vasquez into Slash now because I don't know what's in those tanks. I don't know if that's going to pop out more enemies to spawn. Yeah, just take the, uh, take the 60, even if you don't hit him. Oh, sorry, this is Catherine, not Vasquez. Excuse me, you both have green armor. You know, I hope you get him next time, but I'm actually kind of hoping Vasquez can just seal the deal here. Oh, unfortunately, I already moved her because I misclicked her. Okay, um, problems, problems, just go dash. I didn't want to leave the sectoid alive, but we'll see. Oh, he's running. Why is he doing something sensible? He's actually doing something very, very smart and running away. I don't like that at all. That's not fair. Okay, um, Catherine, come in here. I need to get an eyeball on that guy again. Can you see him? No, you cannot. I'm very worried about these people in the tanks. There's clearly Advent soldiers here. Very clearly Advent soldiers. And now I feel like the sectoid is running away to grab some friends. Let's start overwatching people. It worked the last time. Let's not mess with success here. Cecile, come up here. Hang out by the window. And what? What are you seeing? Oh, okay. It's just central. All right. Yes, it's, it's Advent central. Central, I'm in the middle of something here. Shen, shut up. I'm doing a thing. Unless you're putting boots on the ground, get out of my camera. Yes, yes, it's where at... Oh, God, and Tygen needs to say something now. Tygen, I've kind of got a thing going on here, man. I, I feel we're going to just have an infinite spawn of enemies pretty soon, man. Tell you what, whenever I figure out what this is, you better have some information for me pretty darn quick, Tygen. Oh, all right. Everyone get up to the door. Quickly, quickly, please, people. Kostya, you can get inside and help to support Catherine, although I can't really get you into any decent cover. Well, you're just going to have to learn to cope with that because I need you to reload in this round as well. Yes, I know there's a thing. Yes, I know the package is in range. I can see it right now. What are we actually supposed to be doing? Steal the prototype and escape the forge with the prototype and get all our guys out. And I assume that's what we keep flashing to over here. That's the prototype. So you, Kosh, you need to reload. And who else needs to do a thing? Who else needs something to be doing with their time? Vasquez. Oh, Vasquez, my all-star. You could run and gun, but I don't think you need to. Let's get you over to... Is there a door over here? No. Looks like the only ways in are probably through the side where the sectoid went. Let's get you well inside the building. You're going to lead the fight here. Okay, Catherine, can you now get an eyeball on this guy if I move you up here? He's just completely disappeared. He has completely disappeared. Um, before you do anything, give me Vasquez. Who can't re well actually you could run and gun your run and gun is up 
and I think it's a good time to use it because I just want to see where that one hit point sectoid went to. Uh, oh, he went and found some friends. Dandy. Boy, he found a lot of friends, actually. He found many, many friends. All right, who's going where? Um, Vasquez? You know that gas grenade you've been holding on to for a while? What if we use that now on these guys? Can I get that to stretch? Boy, that's a fidgety throw. I can definitely get it to these guys. Yeah, gas grenade these guys. See what happens. It will should definitely take out the one hit point guy. Yep, sure did. And the other guy's poisoned. That probably won't feel good. Unfortunately, everyone else is nowhere near where I need them to be right now. Uh, Johnny, is there anything you can do up here? You can... Uh, you can get a pistol shot off. That's fine. I mean, do it. Better to do it than not do it. I don't think that face-off is really going to be valuable right now, so just shoot something. It's kind of what you're good at. Did you just blow up a whole wall when you did that, Johnny? Dang, man. Um... Nobody is where I need them to be. Nobody at all is where I need them to be. Uh, Rohit, I'm pretty confident you're not going to have a shot on anything over here. Nope, you're not. Well, we're going to have to try the same tactic of sort of bringing them down to us and overwatching them up a little bit. Oh, yeah, Kostya, perfect time for the Mimic Beacon. Just save you for last. Cecile, is there anywhere in here you can get a shot not unless I put you right in the line of fire. Is that a window over there? Mm, oh, there's just nowhere to get you where you're going to be useful, really. Not without dashing, anyway. I mean, I can get you up to throw a grenade in there. Okay, Cecile, you're probably going to hate me for this. But um, I'm going to put you in the middle of nowhere. And um, you're going to launch a grenade. And we're going to see how this goes. I really... Oh, you don't even have a good shot on a grenade. Well, you can at least get that guy. Let's start to take him down a little bit. Cecile, I'm really hoping the Mimic Beacon does what I need it to do. Sorry about all this. Very, very sorry about all this. Alright, Catherine, you also have a grenade. Is there anything good you can be doing with that? You probably have a terrible angle, though. That's the thing. Yeah, you, you can get the shot on that guy. What's your regular shot like? Got a 63 on him, and he's poisoned. So he's probably going to die in the next round anyway. I don't really think we need to focus on him. This guy over here is a bit fidgety. No, I think we've got to take the guaranteed damage of the grenade. Magic words, guaranteed damage. Come on, camera angles, work with me here. Work, work, work with me. Yeah, just bounce that over Vasquez's head and, um, you know, do that. Super. And Mimic Beacon time. Yeah, Kostya, just throw that right here. Right here so that they're going to all cuddle up nice and close to us. And then we're going to shoot them in their faces. Okay, let's see what they got to work with there. Yep, he's dead. Poisoned to death. Don't mind that gas grenade at all. Although we're we're kind of going up against more and more robotic enemies. Oh, Blade Storm! Thank you, Vasquez. That hurt, and he's burning. He's definitely dead in the next round. We could just leave him alone and he'll die. Yeah, we're going up against more and more robotic enemies, so that gas grenade, as much fun as it is, may become less and less useful as time goes on. Oh, I had an Overwatch kicking around. Oh yeah, Rohit. Right, I forgot I put you on Overwatch. And you had a really solid shot on that guy. Well done, Rohit. Fine, shoot the hologram. I don't care. It's not my problem. Now, I think this guy might just flat out die without me doing anything. He's on fire. Okay, yeah, I know there's fire. It's okay. So long as we don't path through it, it's fine. Okay, does anyone need a kill? Catherine, it wouldn't kill you to have a kill, pun intended. So, wow, you really only have a 73% shot on this guy? Okay, well, take it. Thank you. 
I mean, he would have burned to death anyway, but may as well get Catherine to get the experience. And considering this whole wall's down, I'm just going to basically assume nothing else in here wants to murder us. And Vasquez, why don't you just sort of deal with this guy by slicing him in two with a plasma sword? Through the window, no less, and a critical. Didn't need it, took it anyway. That's what I like about you, Vasquez. Okay, I think everyone here is done. Well, I mean, I'm sure there's probably more things, but I think we're broadly okay to start moving forward, getting into that room and getting the package, whatever that may be. And you can pistol Overwatch while I'm talking, Johnny. So I think this is probably a good place to cut it for XCOM 2 today. Next time we'll get in here, figure out what's in the package, and hopefully get everyone out of here. So far, so good. I'm glad we took the A-team here. This has not been a particularly fun mission. So we'll um, get into the get into this chamber here, get the thing, hopefully get out. I have no doubt the second we grab that thing, waves of enemies will spawn. But hey, that's XCOM 2 for you. Until then, I'm Dave. Thank you, as always, for joining me in the wee hours, and we'll see you next time. I find it very funny that smashing through the window apparently does not arouse any suspicion at all. And you're going to smash the other window. You couldn't even go in the same window, Colossus. Oh, games are funny sometimes. Games are a little silly sometimes.